your favorite segment of the week. Of course, I'm talking about Furry Friend Friday, so let's not waste any time and meet this week's adorable pet. I'm here, as usual, with Lawton Animal Welfare uh, boss man, uh, Roy <laughs> Roderick. How are you doing today? Wonderful, wonderful. How about you? I'm great, I'm great. Listen, tell us about this adorable dog. Uh, a very adorable Springer Spaniel. Uh, we were told she's about a year old, female, and uh, really a calm-natured dog. Um, she just laid in the floor over there waiting on her time to shine and <laughs> and uh, I mean as you can see she's just kind of sitting there absorbing everything that yeah. she's getting so look at her she's adorable and she has a pink my favorite color and if I had worn pink today uh, with my black and white matched, we'd yeah. have matched up and listen so if families are interested in adopting her what do they need to know um, she's ready to go she'll have all of the age-appropriate vaccinations she'll be vaccinated for rabies um, she'll have her microchip, she's sp uh, spayed, and all of our animals will be that way, spayed or neutered, vaccinated, microchipped, mm -hmm. and uh, come down, it's $20. We are um, partnering with the Bissell Pet Foundation this next two weeks from up till the 17th, mm -hmm. and uh, the all the adoption fees are $20, and uh, except for the underage, the ones that haven't had their rabies vaccination, there'll be a $17.25 refundable deposit that you would get back once that animal was vaccinated. But good, good. Um, Now, she's gonna get much bigger than that? Uh, no, she should be pretty well full grown. Maybe just a little, but not much. Okay then. Now, you know, we've covered this um, mysterious illness that's going around. About 14 states have reported it now, not in our area, of course, but right. Uh, that's something that you all are concerned about, I'm sure, because of the fact you have so many animals. We are looking at taking uh, extra measures, uh, precautionary measures. Mm -hmm. um, what the public can do, what the citizen can, citizen can do with, with an animal is make sure they're up to date on their vaccinations. Make sure that they, just like us, I mean, if you go to Walmart, you know, be careful. If the dog goes out, be careful, mm -hmm. and it's best to really just keep them home. Mm -hmm. But make sure they're up to date on the vaccinations. If they do start showing symptoms, a cough, a runny nose, something like that, mm -hmm. get them to the vet as soon as possible so mm -hmm. that they can hopefully determine what might be wrong with the animal and, and get it taken care of. So I'm sure you're on the lookout, but should it show up in Oklahoma, you'll be sending out notices will yes will uh and and wherever I, we i'm i follow the other animal shelters in the state so mm -hmm. uh, on facebook so we all follow each other so when it shows up it's the word's going to go out to try right. to prevent it, any more spread than than it has to and it only affects dogs right it only okay. affects dogs all right now tell us about santa paws and the time we have left santa paws uh, we have about a dozen names left on the tree mm -hmm. so if somebody can come down pull those names and, and get the stuff bought we need them back by the 8th of december hopefully um so we can get them out to the people prior to christmas but uh yeah it's it's angel tree for the uh lower income animals that live mm -hmm. in our town it's really a good thing and quick 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 empty the shelters $20 adoptions till the 17th, a uh, partnership with the Bissell Pet Foundation, and they are, um, they are a lot of wonderful animals down there now, dogs and cats. Oh, oh okay, well, dogs, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. All thank right, you for then. having us. <laughs> Alex, it's yours.